Full House here at the Fox Theater for the Foxwoods 20th anniversary celebration, but the casino may need a different winning hand in the next few years if they're going to have the same success. Celebrating their heritage, members of the Mashantucket Pequot Tribal Nation take a look back at their humble beginnings. From a tribe declared extinct, whose very name was outlawed by treaty, to one of the state's leading employers and sources of revenue. What an amazing transition that is. $3.3 billion in slot revenue paid to the state. But on this 20th anniversary, Foxwoods now faces competition across the border, not just across the river, as Massachusetts prepares to open its first casinos. We have to be cognizant that there is competition today in the marketplace that did not exist 20 years ago. We can't just look at the practices that we've done. We have to think differently. That means more prizes this year, along with new restaurants and new retail, expected to make this a shopping destination. As we are going to be uh, breaking ground this spring on a state-of-the-art 300,000 square foot mall, which will have uh, really high-end outlet centers. Plus, there's a new brand campaign, anything but ordinary. Alicia and Alfonso Oz have been coming to Foxwoods for 15 years. And I see everything here is number one. Oh, okay. Well, you might give the other ones a shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I will. Foxwoods has always said diversifying its product has kept it successful, and apparently it's going to have to do that again in other ways with this increased competition. On the scene in Mashantucket, Tina Detell, News 8.